Sure. Welcome to JNA Voices for Change. I'm Anthony. And I'm Joey. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> These are our views and only our views, and our opinions and only our opinions. Yeah, and uh, and uh, you know, and our, our opinions only, not that of some lines, of course. And uh, you know, some of those opinions suck. And they stink, especially Sunlines, because um, Anthony, I'm uh, I'm right at Sunlines General Offices now, bro. <laughs> Here. Uh, Glenn, Glenn Miller, are you there? Glenn, <laughs> Glenn Miller, are you there? What about uh, Lisa Middleton? Huh? Nancy Ross, are you there? <laughs> worthless, worthless, delusional, uh, lame ducks. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable! Can you that that board meeting was was speechless. Well, yeah, well, hey, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Well, <laughs> yeah, she did such a great job, Glenn. Huh? Such a where's where's the missing uh the missing years of the financials for Sunline? What's being hit, Glenn? She's done she's done such a great job. Why don't you uh ask the employees that were wrongfully terminated what a great job she's done? Huh? Yeah, that's what they need what to do. A, what a great job she's done buying buses that don't work, breaking down, unreliable service, but she's done such a great job, huh? It's one big smoke screen. Yeah, what a what a big joke, bro. What a big joke. Yeah. That nerve of this guy, delusional, delusional old man. Yeah, I tell you. Glenn, Glenn it, Miller. And for those that don't know Glenn Miller, Glenn Miller is the, the chairman of the board. He's the representative of, of uh, the city of Indio. Yes. So next election cycle, vote vote this clown out. There's no bigger clown show than, than that at Sunline. Yeah. Yeah. Get this guy. He doesn't care about he doesn't care about the employees at Sunline, nor the nor the uh, the taxpayers of his city either, obviously. Because how many of those taxpayers ride that bus? They don't have reliable service. No, I, I did a, a, a little video. Well, I had a recording. I, I burned like freaking eight terabytes. That's when my computer was acting funny because I, yeah. I recorded all all day long of the bus tracker and uh, buses back to back, back to back, westbound, eastbound. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, there it, it clearly shows that the planning department doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, they they don't have any experience. They need to go. Well, that, that's why I, I had said in, in the one video, uh, what is the board going to do? Uh, based on Glenn Miller, probably nothing. But what, what, what will the remaining clowns of this administration do to ensure that the bullying tactics, the harassing tactics, the, uh, the the inept planning and management in that White House at Sunline, uh, you know, gets cleaned up and, and these things don't happen again because it's getting out of hand at Sunline. Sunline was not like this years ago. I wouldn't have just been like, just 26 like, years. Just like, just like Robert had said, when Cromwell was there, uh, he did not have, his vision was entirely different. Skyver completely uh, uh, turned it around, even from that of Oglesby. Hold on, let me close the door, Joe. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Yeah, Crom Cromwell, I think, was the best. I mean, you got a, you got a dollar, a dollar. I mean, fifty cents. I mean, he he, he was a, he wasn't afraid to share the wealth and share the taxpayers' money on us. Right, 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 and and. And you know, Anthony, uh, I know that you uh, you did a a video yesterday, uh, yesterday the day before, on a really good um, a really good video on why that letter was not written uh, was not written in front of that board. Isn't that amazing? They they should have they should have uh, they should have read it out into the record. Uh, of course. It was a damning letter. I mean, I would have never known about it if uh, they didn't send it to the email. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's why that's why it was not read in front of the board because and and uh, and recorded for the record because it's a damning letter to Sunline. 
they hide the truth. They hide the truth. This is what we've been talking about for almost a year now, bro. That has it been that long? Yeah, I think the the uh oh well I was thumbing back through YouTube and looking and um I think the first one was probably about ten months ago. Ten months ago, at least. Because we, we started the other little venture. Yeah. You, you, I, and uh, somebody else. <laughs> two, other, two other gentlemen that that we won't name. But uh, they know who they are. And <laughs> we, yeah. tried, we tried uh, another avenue. And we came close, bro. We did. We came we came real close. And and uh, that's, their time is coming, too, man. You know? Well, I mean, <laughs> we, we can say it. I mean, it's a decertification of ATU. Yeah. Uh, uh, the first time in the history of Sunline that it's ever been done and gotten yeah. this far and even 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 put it into process, it's never been done. That I I can recall. Right. I mean, no, I mean we're we we were the frontline workers. <laughs> yeah, we we, <laughs> we are truly the the frontline workers, and we actually we were. Um, what time does that come up again in October? Yeah, well, it's, yeah, but it's got to be uh, ninety days per the end of the contract. And and there's no contract, which means new contract, which means that somebody else there could spearhead the the movement because obviously it's not going to be you or I. Who knows? Yeah, well, who knows? I mean, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's I like mean, it's like they, that that commercial, and it's like that body cam footage that I have. Yeah. Uh, well, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? <laughs> the world will never know. <laughs> yeah, who, they will never know. A one, a two, crunch. <laughs> so I'm down, I'm down here in El Centro, bro. Yeah. It's, uh, it's cold and windy down here, man. And my daughter is racing BMX, so check it out. Look at it. Get through all the sea of kids here. Get through all the sea of kids. Oh, look at that. That's a nice bike, too. Yeah. Yes. She should be up here somewhere. Oh, right there. Oh, she's getting ready to race? Yeah, she's getting ready to race. We had it's nice to change it up a bit, you know, because <clears throat> to get to get away from the monotony of of the corruption that we talk about all the time and the mismanagement of Sunline. And look, when you went on the cruise, the love boat, boy, it was a beautiful change up, man. It was nice to get away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now it's uh, the work time objections, yeah. Your Honor. Yeah, well, that's that's what we uh, that's what we do. It's Saturday. I object. I object. That's uh, hearsay. Oh yeah, I, I've been there, man. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, bro. We make sure we we do we uh <laughs> when, we're, when you're in the Big Apple. The Big Apple bro. Hell yeah. Yeah. That way, uh, everybody at the Rotten Apple at Sunline can see. You know, <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you you know that, and and uh, what I want to know here's a here's a tip to that woman that was talking, uh, Gloria something, uh, Salazar. Yeah, yeah, Gloria Salazar. Okay, let's get one thing straight here. The people that the 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 person in charge of Sunline is not a CEO. It's a public company. You are, you will be, or you are going to be, or the next person will be a general manager. They're not CEOs, Glenn Miller. Get it right. Okay. <laughs> it's a public company. It's not a business. I, I, I second that motion. Yeah. I mean, all the, all the, all the, the nonsense I heard coming from that woman's mouth was, was all about running a business. This is not a business. This is a public transit company. You can't, you can't run it the same. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I want to give her the benefit of the, of the doubt, and uh, I, I, uh, I mean, to come in and at least, at least be the spearhead. I mean, I want to give well, her the, the doubt. Well, and, uh, 
Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be skeptical because, um, you know, we, we've been burned in the past. Yeah. I should say. And, and the rest of the, the employees at Sunline have been burned in the past because. The board, the board is not they do not properly vet these people that come in. Yeah, I they think, don't. I mean, like I said, is um, maybe they'll put her in there to go gun hole and then hire the new GM and make it, you know, seem like the the hero. Um, maybe she'll come in and, and do what she needs to do and uh, get rid of the people that she needs to get rid of and, and bring on the people that know transit and bring back the sunline the way it used to be. Uh, yeah, well, well, that's what we thought. Uh, Roger Snow, remember Roger Snowballs? Yes. We thought that he was going to come in and he, and he should have, he should have come in and cleaned house. He was the one that said that Sunline was employees were grossly underpaid. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I remember that. It's... He's the one, he's the one that said that. Yeah. So, oh, so Joey, are we going to talk about, uh, uh, that that uh, work comm doctor of uh, what they're doing to certain individuals. Um, yeah, that that's um, Doctor Stark. Doctor Stark. Doctor Stark. And where is he located? In Rancho. Uh, yeah, here I think right here on Rancho. Pain, Pain, Painter's Path or somewhere. No, is it? Painter's yeah, Path? yeah. He's another one. They they that's again Sunline's doctors. They jerk around. They jerk around. I I uh, I'm. I, we're going to be getting information from an individual who's who's having a problem with the the whole situation at Sunline and 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 you know with the Workman's Comp and Doctor Stark, and uh, we're going to have to do a, a a news story on that because because maybe a slideshow that person is is having a a difficult time with with the Workman's Comp at Sunline. You know why their 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 mentality is not Joey is starve the worker, send them back to work ill, hurt, and bandaged, and put them back to work because if you're not giving, a, giving them any payment so they can survive, they're forced to come back to work. That's right. That's months. right. Well, but well, they're not what, well. What, remember what Dr. Fountain told you? Well, yeah, uh, you know, it's like an old car. You yeah. know, it breaks down. What do you want me to do? Go back to work. Yeah, well, you're you're an old you're an old car, you're an old car. So he says it to everybody. She's getting ready to. All right, let's the gate's going to drop. Let's see She's the race. Gonna... Let's see the race. We we can stand back and see the race. Yeah, the the, the yellow the yellow shirt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here, so you can get an idea on on what goes on here because it is just damn. There's nowhere to get around. It's cold and it's windy here, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold and it's windy here. That's in a nice course. Yeah, it, it really is. It It is. It was raining and it was... Oh, I think she, my daughter goes next. It was raining and it was like super slick here, man. Could you imagine, bro? And... God. I would have I would have had more broken bones than what I have now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so we'll get it on we'll get it here in just a second. So you got an idea because I mean she she really she can ride this thing so fast. I hear the I hear the blue angels, dude. Oh check it out, check it out, check it out. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, I seen it. I think mean, she's being being laxy daisy, bro. Huh? She's warming up. Was oh, that a warm up? Yeah, that's her in the yellow. I yeah. think that I think uh a lot of a lot of people didn't show up today because, uh, you know, the weather is it's uh it's a uh, it's bad in California. Was she in Does first place? Oh, I don't know. She just came off. 
I don't know. I got to go find out. But I wanted to give you an idea on what's going on here and show you a little break away from the monotony, you know? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. It's always good to. to but get you know the weather. The the weather here is really in California is really bad. So anybody that's out there that's seeing this, that's in California, just be safe out there because the weather is is terrible, and especially in the mountain communities. I mean, snow levels are down to fifteen hundred feet, man. Yeah. Tehachapi is really bad. Oh, this ice probably snowed in. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh man. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah long day, long day, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm gonna find out what's going on. Okay. Well and, uh I was gonna Okay, well, I'll, gonna, I'll do it later uh, well, later later. I gotta get this this video, um the the email that was sent to me. I gotta post right it. On. But I'll I'll do that later. If not, I'll do it tomorrow morning. Right on. And then uh okay. well have fun out there, and uh, uh, remember, guys, these are our views and only and our, our, views views and our opinions. And freedom of speech is is number one, and we're going to continue this movement uh, for change for not only us but for the working class. And so well, you know what? Just before before I leave, real quick, maybe um, uh, I wonder if 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 Glenn is back in 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 his office yet. You there, Glenn? <laughs> Glenn, <laughs> worthless. <laughs> Once again, these are my views and my views only, not that of Sunline, of course. <laughs> it's the Sunline's views stink. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. All right. Everybody. Hey, we say, Lauren, weekend. see you on the way out. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's right. Adios.